Training has changed significantly since I first started delivering training back in the 1990s. So there's a lot that's happened, particularly in that space of technology and the way that we do things. Everything when I first started, even though my teaching area was business and technology, we still had lots of paper. So heaps of paper, lots of manual checklists, everything was in the filing cabinet. We had handouts. And this is probably something from the, the perspective of digital literacy that I've learned over that period of time. Um, what we would do as part of our training back then was very procedure based and our focus was on procedure. What I see now is more focus on the understanding and the underlying concepts and that we can build procedure and steps and processes on top of that understanding and the underlying concepts. Uh, so for example, with digital literacy, something that I would have taught back in the 1990s, such as how to change your margins in a document. My handout would have just gone through step one, step two, step three, and students would have just gone through those steps. Now I would approach it quite differently uh, in that we would talk about, well, why would we want to change our margins? What's that? What's the purpose of that? Uh, why would we want wider margins as opposed to no margins? Uh, and all the different ways that it can be achieved. So the impact and the understanding behind it. And I think that training generally has gone more down that path of looking at understanding and the knowledge behind things so that we can then apply in that practical setting.